yo, no when I step up in the place, you know what time it is. Yeah. So call it leave these demons down on bended knees. Then like SCF springs the beats while I'm bringing the heat. Rhyme so good, we're gonna leave you glued to your seat. Now take a look into my eye and tell me what do you see? Sympathy for all my people that were living in sin. Whoa. a not yet famous superstar <laughs> all the way from New Lindsay's Durban two-time comedy show winner your connection from the section Carver H. Goldstone Colored people. I learned something marketing the show. Colored people don't know where's the playhouse. I'm giving out flyers. Except just so during our show, the playhouse. Except so you know the playhouse. Hey, playhouse. Sorry for million that place there were. But playhouse, playhouse, playhouse. Not chachi is posy. <laughs> what you mean chachi is posy? No, no, chachi is posy. They call it the playhouse. You know why? It's old lady came home from craft lights or making tea, making bread, playing games. This is a playhouse. This is a playhouse. I'm working hard for you to make a playhouse here. <laughs> Thank you for coming out tonight. I love marketing my own shows. You know why? You get to meet people, you get material. I've seen the funniest things. Some people say to me, whoa, no swearing. I'm not coming, I like to swear. <laughs> I said, I'm performing, not you. <laughs> one lady, she looks at it, she's reading there, a ah, one-man comedy show. Yo, so boring, I'm not even laughing as I'm reading it. <laughs> Why you make it interesting? Why are you saying one? Why did you put a number one? Don't make it exciting when you put a man, put a stick man. <laughs> hey, but maybe you can't put a stick man. <laughs> That's false advertising. <laughs> then she reads and she reads. Oh, ninth and tenth. What's uh, it's okay? Carvin Goldstone. Goldstone? You know Rona Goldstone. <laughs> Jeremy? Paul? How? Oh, Harris? Judge Goldstone? Don't know, where you from? Aren't you from me, Fafa? So, I say, yeah, my father's from me, Fafa. You see, I'm related to the Goldstone. I told you I got a famous family, you see, they're making me a fool. There you go. How? Oh, why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm gonna ask you for a free ticket? Not for this show. I can't make it, I've got a case in the ninth, man. But let me tell you something, my child. God's gonna bless you. You go for it, God's gonna make it. Ooh, I can just see it, that's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be huge. God is before you. How's a cigarette day? <laughs> Don't be like that. Give your cousin a cigarette. Oh, not even famous, you don't know your family already. Yo! But let me tell you, I was in this one place which was dominated by uh, fair colored people. I won't say where it was. No, no. <laughs> and this guy, I could see my face was troubling him as I'm giving out the flyers. He's looking at me. So uh, as I came to give him money, you next say, next say, what you want, TV? So I say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I got flyers now, eh? <laughs> I pray no can't keep any graph, right? <laughs> so at that point, the arrogant colored in me wanted to jump out and say, what? I'm still on TV? At 10 o'clock in the morning, you at home, you mustn't tune. <laughs> but at that point, the Indian in me, 35% Indian in me saw an opportunity. 
Yeah, boss, they fired me. I got a small show. I'm just putting on to race for the children. Just a little something. I'm trying to put together some money. Please, boss, don't be like that. Come help me out. Don't be like that. Look here. Yeah, look at the price I'm giving you. Look at the price I'm giving you. Yeah, see the price here. Yeah, the price I'm giving you. Look at that price. Also, a light walking boss. Come here. You can see me and my child. We're struggling so much. Yeah. What be must do? I please, boss, please, 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 Hey, I don't smoke that. <laughs> I can take that. Do you know what I don't like? I was in Lani. Lani, check here one minute. Check here one minute. Bring my, check here, Lani. I was just, you go boss, Lani. Check here. Excuse me, you go boss. Check here, check here. Check the price on here. Seven ninety nine, right? One fifty, boss. <laughs> you take it, boss. One fifty. Check here, Lani. Check here. No, check here, right? Check here. No, check here. No, look at that. Look at the name. What name on here? You can see. You can see the name. Edgar's boss. Look at the price. Look, at the, I'm giving you this thing, boss. One fifty. Take it, thing. Me, I don't like that. You know why? I'd rather be robbed. You get robbed, it's finished, the old gone. This will follow you everywhere. Everybody, Lani, please, Lani. Oh, Lani, do you follow you to your car? Lani, please, check it out. Lani, don't be like that, Lani. Just check it out. Lani, check it out. You look like a fly. Lani, 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 Lani. Where's this thing? Lani. Lani. You jump in your car, you wind on your window, throw it through, there's it, Lani. Take it. I think I must take it, yeah. Take it. Take the bread out of my mouth. <laughs> do that. What I must do now? You got my thing. You're such a big brain. What I'm going to do? I'll call the cops now. I must call the cops because you're robbing me, eh, boss? Any Indian people here tonight? Yeah. Give me a loud oh yo! 40 Indians were killed in the playoffs last night. A mob of angry coloreds. Their last words were loud or yo. <laughs> Just joking. Bro, I like Indian people. My mother's side of the family is Indian. My father's side is Zulu more. Away. Oh, this is my cousin. Yeah, I was a cousin. <laughs> but you know what's cool? The only thing about Indian people is that uh, they're very brave. Like tonight. They knew it's full of colors. They still came. <laughs> they're brave. This is play. That's bravery on another level. Because let me tell you something. You don't know what's going to happen afterwards. <laughs> Once of these people never forgive you for getting them fired on the craft. <laughs> Why don't came to me to next say grafting with Indians is like you on Survivor? <laughs> Any moment you can get voted off the craft. <laughs> you went to a meeting, you not knowing you think it's stuff. Meantime, it's a tribal council. <laughs> Also, eating their last speeches. I want to be safe at work. And so, my decision is based on being safe at work. You chicken right, that's me, I'm the protection. Then Alani Chunyu, Mr. Ogle, bring your torch <laughs> and your work card, collect your pension, and leave. <laughs> it's not like an Indian number two. <laughs> But I must do an identification, yeah, because some colors and Indians, you can't tune what's going on, it's too close. I don't want to see someone also, and then he says to me afterwards, hey, you see the show was hundreds. Do you know what kind? Say, aren't you? You're not. Don't play. <laughs> hey, you, 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 I. For real, like, say, say you had me, you had me. Yeah. Any black people in the house? Oh. It's only a few of my father's family came. <laughs> that's, that's my father's side of the family. My father is a Zulu-speaking colored. You know those types? They talk English one way except when they're angry. They can be calm at home. Yeah, no, very good. My mother say, Carver never wash his socks, never polish his shoes, never do his homework. Uzog Bona, Uzog Bona, Uzog Shalom, Fan. Come here, you pig, eh? Even the accent changes. Come here, you pig. We talk English, we talk English at home growing up. But when his sisters came to visit, it was just like, Ulu, 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 Who put SABC 1 on now? I'm trying to see for a man. You know, you can't tell what colored guys too. Because some of them are so dark, hey, you not sure, except. No, I'm serious. I know that. I know that I grew up like that. 
you can't check, but you're not sure if, if, it's, a, if it's a black guy or a colored guy or a black guy that slipped into the colored community. You know those ones, they slipped in, no one saw them coming. They just slipped in. They learned the lingo like, Awe, white guy. They got fancy names. What kind sons? <laughs> You'll never find out that it was black until you visit his house. You must come unannounced, come knock. Do, do, do. Hello, I'm looking for. Hello, his son's here. No, there's no one by that name here. Eh, eh. Sorry, you've got the wrong number. The small child, no, ma, they're looking for Sandile. The color children call him Sans. And I was so shocked you came to his house. You run out, you say, what kind of clothes, though, quickly? What kind of say? Why don't you come to the boys, you know, what kind? But me, I can spot those hoes. You know why? It's the talks. They over swagger. Too much colored swagger. And they like using the Zulu slang words. Hey, that hoes are guala. Because he's comfortable with that word. And they've also learned to speak broken English like colored people. I don't know who told people in the Eastern Cape you can come to Wentworth and Newlands and learn English. <laughs> who told them that? We puzzling. We are puzzling big time. We teaching English now. We, we teachers now. We teaching other people to speak English. We can't even speak ourselves. We teaching other people now. Our oh, English, you know what they do? Sometimes, you, you know, you're talking to someone, they hit you with a story, and English is mixed up. You don't know what now. Must you tell him the truth? They think you're too clever. When I came to me, it's your next day. Now I'm reading in the paper, right? You graphing with the media and all that. It's saying there, 35 people killed in Zimbabwe because of cholera in the water. It say, if the cholera in the water is killing them in Zimbabwe, why are we using that thing to clean pools? It say, to me, why we do that? You graphing in the media, that's stupid, it say. One to people, they like to slip in words basically, actually, essentially. Now the, the sentence is proper now. They use basically, essentially, actually. One lady, ladies are talking, hey, you know what they're doing actually is bad, yeah? <laughs> essentially, they're beating up the forest for jobs. Yeah? This is terrible, this thing, yeah? yeah? This arachnophobia. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> to me, I'm standing there, I'm like, hey, yeah, me, hey, 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 those spiders, hey, I'm also scared of them. Then he looks at me, oh, what you mean? You can't call people spiders? <laughs> oh, my son, you sound like you are arachnophobic. You got an arachnophobic problem, my boy. <laughs> but you know, there's at one time you're trying to be serious now. You know what I'm saying? You're like in a serious place. Like when you're getting saved and you go out for prayer and they pray for you. Now me, I got saved in a time there when there was like, you know, the prayer line is full. They've got counselors, but now there's too many people now. They're pulling any sister. Come sister, so and so, come help. This sister, come help. And hey, that sister's coming to help, yeah. She's puzzling too. I don't want those sisters take you to the side. She said to me, you know, they're going to tone. Do you know what you've just done? Do you know what you've just done? I'm checking, hey, this auntie knows what I did that I did before I came here. How she been charged with prophetic and what, what. So I'm just parking. Do you know, let me tell you something, basically. God acquires you to be saved, to be holy. I'm thinking, should I tell her it requires? It's like a serious moment, just leave it. This world is in peril. The world is in peril. There are wars in divert places. Divert, there are, there are wars in divert places. Tsunamis and hurricanes. I think she's doing well, yeah? Tsunami is a hard word. Hurricanes, are. Oh. Cyclopses and tycoons. <laughs> I'm checking it. This is a serious time here. Yeah. Then she killed me. Have you seen people are hungry? They are so hungry because all over the world there's no rain. There are drafts, drafts everywhere you look. Drafts. There's no rain. Even in the Bible there was drafts. God is bigger than drafts. Hey, bro, we make up our own words, basically. 
Yeah. Any white people with us tonight? Yeah, there we go. Cool. White people are obsessed with Julius Malema. We all have an opinion. These people are obsessed. They find any situation to stuck him in the conversation. Like him having a random conversation. Let's say they're talking about something basic. Hey, your son's doing well at school, eh? Yeah. First team rugby at DHS. Wow, that's amazing, eh? Sheesh. Oh, that's great, eh? No, 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 you must go for it. You must go for it. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Great stuff, eh? You must be so happy that Julius, my name is not involved in education. <laughs> oh, my, what, what an idiot! Sheesh, eh? But you know the way this government works, eh? They take the guy with the least qualification and make him the minister of the topic. He could be the minister of education, eh? What an idiot! These are the O's running in the country, bro! Shh. They give me having a braai. Shh, turn the voice, please, bro. Oh, bro, you've burnt it. Sheesh. Look at it, eh? It's, you've burnt it as dark as Julius. <laughs> Oh, brew. And it's Paul, too. <laughs> oh, I don't want it anymore. I'm not hungry. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I don't laugh when white people say, this country's going like Zimbabwe. I don't laugh. I laugh because they're saying Zimbabwe. When it's Zimbabwe, uh, that's the only point I laugh. But I don't laugh because they know what they're talking about. They come from there, especially in Durban. Loads of them. They like to call it Rhodesia. They call it Rhodesia. They come from there. They're like a warning system. You know when a tsunami is about to hit somewhere? Any, anywhere in the world. For some reason, the animals find out first and they go to higher ground. They saw the tsunami coming in Zimbabwe and they kicked it, yeah. So when they start leaving this country, you must know our warning system is ticking. Dee, dee, dee. The white people are our animals. They are our animals in this country. We must start going for higher ground when they start moving. Because they know one day it's gonna pop off. The leaders are just gonna say, right, enough is enough. Go and take what you want. They're not going for farms, too much work. They're going am Schlanger, boss. It's gonna be like 300 tonight, we dine in am Schlanger. I want this mansion, I want this mansion, that mansion, I want this car and that mansion, and that pool. How deep is that pool? <laughs> right, two meters, ah, eh. Right, that's too deep, that. Give me jacuzzi, I'll take jacuzzi. But above all that, I want this and that, and above all that, I want a white woman! That's what this is all about. Any black man who makes it, what does he go for first? That's what this is about. But by that stage, all the white people will be gone because they had a warning system, right? They would have left. Who are they going for next? Yeah, fair colors. <laughs> Carry on, yeah, don't you better, yeah? They're going for fair colors. We want the white from Greenwood Park! And who else? Fair Indians using Sarusha Naidu's cream. Carry on using that cream. Carry on, use that cream. Use Sarusha Naidu's cream as a bona. Carry on using Sarusha Naidu's cream. I hope you know, I hope you learned how to make chicken feet biryani. Can you make that? Check, you're gonna be Sarusha Ngobo. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see some people here, they're a little bit confusing. I'm not sure if they fear colors or if they white people. It's hard for me, it's hard for people to tell, but usually I can tell, you know how I tell? It's the hair. <laughs> Let me tune you something. Your face might be saying, how's it brew, but your hair is talking another language. <laughs> your hair is saying, I'm a good job! I'm a good job! <laughs> Telling people's hair brew is like a history book. When I look at a person, look at his hair tune. This is evidence that your ancestors fought on both sides in the Battle of Blood River. Well, one and you're lost. It's a history book, man. You look at a colored person's hair, there's a story. That's what I like to make it straight, to hide all the stories. But one, two of them may say, hey, you check, hey, this hair, yeah. This GHD, even GHD can't help this one. This hair can't go home because it never left. 
a wet look has saved many a colored girl. Don't wash your head when you put a wet look. When I'm sitting in a taxi, I can see the droplets coming off your hair. And I can see the cloudy, cloudy. That's not conditioner. That's three weeks of not washing. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, my name's Carvin H, for those of you who don't know me. And the reason my name is Carvin H is because my parents are colored. And you know, it's, it's like Carvin H, it's like Danny K. <laughs> but bigger <laughs> and darker. And hopefully with real talent. <laughs> I'm just saying, my parents aren't rich enough to make me famous. I have to work with this myself. <laughs> But you know what I don't like about people that are like famous? Is that when they get famous, they start endorsing products they got nothing to do with. Like the parlor tones endorsing Kentucky Fried Chicken. The skinny white parlor tones endorsing big black Kentucky Fried Chicken. That is the biggest insult to black people and to me. For years, we've kept Kentucky above water. You know what I'm saying? Every week, even the advert says, e pay day is good. The pictures of us eating Kentucky. You get an opportunity to give money back and you give it to the Polo Tones. I can't picture the Polo Tones in any Kentucky. Walking in there. Hey, tell us if you have wings out for. If you wings out for. This is, uh, you can see, you can see, you can see who's this. Yeah, wings out for. Yeah. And yeah, the snack box. Look at snack box, who's there? Uh, you can see there was one snack box. Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's you. Yeah, okay. But this is not a game show. Not money on the box. Money for the box, Baba. Money for the box. Another person is the singer Lira. Lira earns about 30, 40K a gig. And they want us to believe she wears shield. I know brain is not graphing. I never wear shield like you. They want us to believe that she's wearing shield. That is, uh, that's, that's, that's unbelievable. That's like Jay-Z or P. Diddy coming to you and saying, I can't wait to get to Mr. Price. Yo, have a look at the clothes. <laughs> You're telling me when she goes on the red carpet at the Summer Awards and they, you know what they say? Well, welcome, look who's just arrived. Oh, you look at the guys, it's Lira. Lira, tell us, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Jimmy Choo, I've got Gucci and I'm a shield. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. And which one is it? Regular or sport? Sporty, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> yeah, but as I said, my name's Carvin H. My parents name me. Uh, colored people, we name based on like what's popular, basically. So I was named in the time of the Winans. The singers, the Winans, one of them was Carvin, so I became Carvin. That's not uncommon. A lot of you got names from people that you didn't know were singers. Our parents love music, that's how it was. But you know what, even if you go to the hospital now and you go ask for all the colored babies you're gonna look, you're gonna find baby Rihanna, baby Beyonce, and baby Gaga. Very naughty, that child. She's fair, fair colored child, that. In a, incubating a wedding dress, how disrespectful. Now for black people, it's easy, you know what I'm saying? They got a catalog of names to choose from. You know, it's Tsepo, it's gonna be uh, Bongani, it's gonna be Sipo, the girls, it's gonna be uh, Nonkolo, it's gonna be uh, whatever. <laughs> Ones I can't think of now. But anyway, my point is if you walk into a class in a township and you walk in, you say, Sipo, can Sipo stand up? Six light is, yes, miss, yes, miss, yes, miss. Ah, it wasn't me, miss. <laughs> you walk into a school, what is a colored school? And you say, can Beyonce stand up? Two children are gonna stand up. Mr. Beyonce with a S or a C? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with a S, her mother can't spell. <laughs> and Indian people, when Indian people name, if you think of the Indian people that you know, Indian people name like someone was sneezing. <laughs> think about it. Vitesh, Anesh, Aresh, Akesh, Vaneshri, Varushka, Logi. No, that don't sound right. Logesh, yeah, that's right. So when my parents named me, they decided they're gonna make it fancy, so they put an H at the end of my name, Carvin H, which is my government name, it's my ID name. But of all the letters, if you wanna be fancy, of all the letters in the alphabet that you have to choose 
the most difficult letter for everybody. All the Indian guys that greet me, Kevin. Kevin. I can't get it out. No matter how hard I try, I can't get it out. And the ones that do say it, say, hey, how's it carving H? I tune a H you, I'm getting slim as you're saying it. And black people, H is so close to H. And H means so many different things. H can be, hello, H. H can be, I'm surprised, H. H can be, I'm not happy, H. H can be, I'm angry, H, 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 H. And for me, a guy will come up to me, H, Kevin. I'll say, no, Kevin, H. Uh, what is this guy saying now? What is he saying? I'm saying, hello, Kevin, but now he's saying, I'm going to say, Kevin, hello. I'm a color, I can't speak English, hey. And I play, I play, I play rugby. Uh, well, I try to. <laughs> For a team that's completely Afrikaans. Everything's in Afrikaans. Uh, they, they play in Afrikaans, instructions in Afrikaans. Me, I just sit and listen. And so they call me whatever they want to. Alvin, Calvin, Marvin. I don't worry, I'm not interested. So then the one day I wrote my name down and the coach is looking and he's trying to see you. He's looking. V is, uh, V is, V is Carvin Her. <laughs> Carvin Her? V is Carvin Her. So I come forward. <sighs> yes, boss. <laughs> she say, uh, Alvin. But uh, no, what is, no, no, this will not work. Oh, my word, there's, there's a space in between. I'll never remember this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can we just rather call you something simple like Beast or something like that? <laughs> There's a famous rugby player with that name, he don't mind and I know you guys won't mind. Because I learned early in life that for white people, there's coloreds, there's Indians, there's whites. Uh, in whites, there's English and Afrikaans. You don't know that. They split themselves up. We see them as one. They split themselves up. <laughs> there's a, I, just, I didn't know that. We just call him, we, we grew up, we all call him Puros. That was what we said. <laughs> There's a mix there, there's colors, there's whites, English and white Afrikaans. And then there's blacks, and in blacks is dark colors. It's got nothing to do with accent, it's got to do with the way you look. So myself, I was always, I, didn't, I went through my whole life like that. They'll see, they'll see me and they'll just say, oh, okay, okay, this, 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 this guy, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that, the black guy, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, yes, that's me, that's me. The one day I was standing outside a bank, and this white lady came and she's like, cha, 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 cha. Sorry, 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 Mufetu. <laughs> Mufetu. Uh, uh, I, want, I want to know if, 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 the, if, if, if the bank is open. So I stood the door to myself, is this lady think? <laughs> so I had two options. I could either, I could either, be like colored people that like to twang and just go and say, yo, yo, the bank's open, you may go inside, man. Or, 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 I could be exactly who she thinks I am. So I chose the latter, no, it's not a mufetu, it's mufetu, ma, it's mufetu. And the bank is closed, the buses tell me no one must go inside me, I'm working here, yeah. no one is going inside, no. Buses tell me no one, eh, 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 eh. No, 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 even the bus himself can't go inside, eh? So she's very anxious, oh, doctor, oh, excuse me, oh, 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 it's not Hopper Street. I, 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 I need to get inside. So I said, no, the bus say, if it's urgent, must bring ID. But you know, I didn't know that old people move with IDs. They do. So she pulled it out. Just, just see this. I took it and it was still shaking. Just, 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 just. So I look, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Hey, hey, yeah. Uh, hey. No, this one is young. Mama, you old, man. This is not true. Hey, hey, no, no, sorry, sorry. 
But what I was really doing is I was just protecting the people inside the bank. I was protecting them from her. Oh, they need to go home. There's kind of people working there. I need to look out for them. Because let me tell you what happens in a bank. When I go to a bank, I do racial profiling. I don't feel bad. I walk inside and I look who's there. I check 40 black people at you and ride cool inside. So now that's going to be quick. You're going to go inside there. That guy's going to get to the front of the queue. The ladies say to him, sorry, have you brought your pace <laughs> You didn't bring a pacer. There is nothing I can do for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. He's not going to argue. He's just going to say, Oh, pacer, man. Ay. Ay. Ah, pacer, ish, pacer. Ah, I man, but I'm not even working, man. Ay. Now, if I walk into a bank and I see even four white people, I walk out. Because that's going to take forever. Every single one of them wants to speak to the manager. <laughs> they get to the front of the queue. Sorry, ma'am. Can you have a look here? You look here. Can you see? What, what is this? Can you see here? You tell me what's wrong. <laughs> you can't see. Okay, I'll show you. You guys have been taking two and off my cards. You didn't, you, you didn't notice. That's right, two and you've taken two and off my cards. There you go. You can take that. Yeah, yeah. You can't see. Can, can you, okay, then in that case, can you go call the manager? Please, are you, are you the manager? No, exactly. That's what I thought. Go call the manager. Thank you. And then they stand like this. Mm, mm, mm. Looking for support. Oh, 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 oh. All the sound effects under the sun. Mm. There's always an Indian man saying, you're doing the right thing, man. You're doing the very right thing. What you're doing is right. You are doing the right thing, man. You get your money, man. You go get your money. You don't worry. You will wait here. We'll wait here. You get your money. Someone needs to stand up. He's doing the right thing. He's doing the right thing. You go get your money, man. Then the bank manager will come out. The bank manager says, sorry, ma'am, the reason why we took two rent off your account is because you asked for SMS notifications. Oh, ah, oh, mm, ah, oh, okay, mm, okay, mm, ah, oh, okay, mm. <laughs> As she walks away, the Indian man standing there, what a rude lady, yeah? what a rude lady that is. I can ha what a rude lady, yo, 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 yo. Hey, now I'm so happy, you know, the World Cup is here, Rugby World Cup. Hey, why not you me? Hey, you tiring a show on the 10th, the same day as the World Cup? But you know, it's, they're playing on Saturday in uh, New Zealand and on Sunday in South Africa. <laughs> you mean they're tiring? Why? They're gonna. Ah, hey, this technology thing, you say. Yo, eh? You know what they're gonna come out with next day? We're struggling to keep up. Just that they're gonna have phones with cameras and all, eh? Sachunya, <laughs> you are struggling to keep up. <laughs> but the beauty of the World Cup is, you notice know, on Fridays, people are wearing so uh, jerseys again. You know, South Africa is almost like United. It's almost like the Soccer World Cup because people forget that earlier this year was the Cricket World Cup. Most people forgot about that. Most South Africans, not Indian people though. For Indian people, that was huge. That was major. That was big. That was beyond. And you know, in every Indian family, there's a one uncle. I'm supporting India. <laughs> no, no, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I'm supporting India. How long we are? How long we are? 150 years is nothing, my bro. 150 years is nothing. <laughs> we basically still family. I'm supporting India. <laughs> we get into the World Cup. South Africa plays India. South Africa beats India. But if you really think about it, <laughs> who actually got family that still live that side? Huh? <laughs> no, we are South Africans now. We must support South Africa. That is what I'm saying. In this house, we must support South Africa. So he supports South Africa. South Africa gets knocked out of the World Cup. What happens? Sri Lanka plays exceptionally well. So Sri Lanka are our favorites for this World Cup. But if you really look at them, eh? who we look more like? <laughs> huh? I can see Mul Ritteran in chats, but I can't see Dhoni. I can see Mul Ritteran. No, let's support Sri Lanka, man. You know, plus to that apartheid times when you came here, they just said everyone in India, India. They never said Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. They just said everyone from India. Maybe we are Sri Lankans. You never know. Get to the World Cup, Sri Lanka plays India. India beats Sri Lanka. 
What I said from the start. What I said in the very start. What I said from the start. Never mind in the middle. Never mind in the middle. I told you the start was gonna win this thing. <laughs> and the thing about the Cricket World Cup is the truth is a lot of black people didn't even know the Cricket World Cup was on. I was wearing my jersey. You know, we also tried to wear jerseys on the Friday. I was wearing my, my cricket jersey. I wore my cricket jersey. And I'm walking in the sky, says Mrs. Mfatu, hey, why are you wearing this thing, man? Hey? The World Cup soccer is finished. You're still wearing Friday jersey. So I said, no, no, it's, uh, it's for Proteas. Oh, Proteas. What, what is that, Proteas? <laughs> oh. Oh, so everyone was working Protea Hotel is wearing this shirt. So I said, no, no, it's, it's the cricket. We're supporting it for cricket. We wear this jersey to support the cricket team. Oh, cricket, eh? Oh, so on Friday, like soccer, but we're supporting South Africa for cricket. Okay. And it happened the day I was wearing it, South Africa lost. He's like, okay, I'll wear my one next week. So I was like, no, we lost. Oh, so we lost now. So you're not wearing the shirt no more. I said, I said, nah, your own shirt, you're not gonna wear your own shirt. Because the team never win, you're not wearing your own shirt. Ay, but Baba, you're telling lies, man, hey. I see you sometimes. Your team never win a trophy for five years, but you're always wearing Arsenal shirt, always. You're always wearing Arsenal, eh? You're lying, because... Oh, don't tease my team, don't tease my team. Let me tell you about soccer. Me, soccer is a, sports is a very important thing. Sport can unite a nation. You know what I'm saying? It can divide a home but unite a nation, which is bigger. <laughs> it's like, I watch soccer. My wife will say to me, oh, Coven, you're watching soccer again. I'd say, but what do you mean? Oh, I'm allowed to watch soccer, aren't I? <laughs> She's saying, none of this game's going on yet. She said, but your team is losing 8-2. What you mean? There's a comeback here. <laughs> Me, I'm a soccer supporter all times. Like, you know, in, in early in the year when the tsunami hit in Japan, I was worried. And any soccer fan will know this because Arsenal was playing Man United on the Saturday. I was very worried. Is this thing going to affect the premiership fixtures? And I would seem insensitive, but you must understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> so I check, right? No, no, everything's on track. But it so happened that now some people decide now they're going to have prayer meetings on the Saturday. So I'm checking this prayer meeting plan is clashing with my soccer match, yeah? So, so my wife says to me, are we going to go to the prayer meeting? It's about to start. I but I'm watching soccer. She says, Coven, there are people there that died in Japan and we were watching soccer, yeah? We're going to pray for them. I said, hey, 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 look here. Look at this TV. See the guy running there? The one running there? That's Jisun Park. He's Japanese, that one there. Hey, but he's Korean, but she don't know that. You see, you just, hey, you see that guy running there? That's Jisun Park. You're going to, you're going to talk about people who died. I'm celebrating this man's life. This man's alive. But you know what's the beauty of soccer is and, and sports? Like with the rugby at the moment. Rugby can unite a nation. Sport can unite a nation. Just think about it. Today, we all unite to be so excited about the box. Three weeks ago, we were divided over the white guy that couldn't sing the anthem. <laughs> Everyone was just divided. Black people were peeved off. That's white angry when you peeved off. They're like, ah, you, ah, this is not right. Listen to this guy, Manupak, ah. This guy, ah, no, listen to this. You know, ah, no, this is not right, man, hey. You know, this is proof that even white people are getting tenders for things they can't do. <laughs> this is the proof we needed. Now it's our turn to investigate them. Who gave the tender? <laughs> yeah, who gave it? Who gave this guy the tender? Do when this guy says, oh, we want someone to sing the anthem, and they say, no, we got someone. What's his name? His name is Ad. Doesn't that sound odd? <laughs> Didn't it sound odd to them? What is it not short for something? Ad, Adrian or something like that. Just Ad. Eh, hey, hey. The last guy was Ras, don't forget. These guys with half name can't sing whole anthem. They were genuinely like, no, this is not right. And then white people in South Africa leapt to his defense. Yo, no, look, you just messed up one, huh? 
And it's, yeah, that is as far as we're concerned. It's finished, Clark, you apologized, and it's over. It's finished, let's close the doors, let's not talk about it. And in any case, he sang it the whole thing on radio the next day. Yeah, but we never, we never, eh, we never want to see him sing on radio, we want to see on TV. <laughs> we don't watch radio, we watch TV. Yeah, he got paid to sing on TV, yeah. They don't want to give us the ten, they got paid to say, ah, no, eh, eh. These guys, they bought, you see, this one is also a Daga smoker. I saw an ad in the paper with dreadlocks. Both of them, they're Daga smokers, both of them. Dreadlock guys, that's why. Ras, we think we're stupid, Ras stands for Rasta. And Ad stands for I don't know the anthem. But you know what was interesting at that time? You must watch how Indian people reacted to that whole incident. The whole incident of this guy messing up the anthem last three weeks ago. Indian people were discussing it. Hey, you check that fella, what the thing that fella did on TV? Oh yeah, what you, what you are watching? No, they beating the rugby team together and all, giving the caps. What ugly caps they gave the fellas to eh? I don't say rugby is a very barbaric game that, eh? Not fast that game. Yeah, you know, but anyway, that's beside the point. Eh, one fella, you, me, you, messed the anthem up like, eh? That fella made the song so and so hard, eh? What that fella's name? I can't even think of that fella's name. So hard he made it. Oh yeah, that's the fella's name, Hard Matthews. I oh, was watching with my wife, I said, Bushpa, you better learn the anthem, look like they're asking anyone now. <laughs> Any anyway, next minute it's you. I told Bushpa, you better learn this thing, I'll teach you. Because he's like a lele Africa, Manupadi Yachi Dumalwayo, remember? <laughs> Bushpa said to me, why are you saying Manupadi Yachi? I said, oh yeah, they put our part in the song. We don't have it, we put our part in. But as a colored person watching it, right? I felt a bit funny, you know why? Because we are talented. We don't get breaks like that. To sing on national TV, we would never mess up. You could have given the most drunk colored man, you would never have messed it up. And even if he did, you would have made a plan. Because we brain knows that's how we roll. And we're so talented, you must look at idols. Idols, how many of them in the top 10 are always colored people? But we don't get breaks like that. A colored would never have messed up. We like music, music's in our bones. You go into the community, there's always one Bali. You say any word, he turn it into a song. <laughs> he say, hey, they're always doing well, give me hope. Give me hope, Joanna. Give me hope, Joanna. He just pop out of nowhere. You don't even see him coming. He's like, give me hope, Joanna. <laughs> and he can even mix it up, put slang in to make it relevant. You say, hey, that girl there, he knows the right words. Hey, check her face, she's beautiful. When I checked her, die. <laughs> They want a thing I wouldn't choose Cause she's hundreds Just the way she is hey, You know that out there, eh? You know that out there, uh, eh? You know him? Pray no Mars light is our pray no light is Pray no Mars Your light is not nothing about good You're only doof doof, you're not nothing yeah, so as I'm saying, if they put us in there, she just made us sing it, bro. We don't get our break. That's what I'm saying. We don't get our break. Even if we're Indian, we were in a, in a struggle. Bro, you pray to you because it's Africa. Manu Pagani su du mulwayo. Akwa de la mava tse chika. Chika, chika, chika. Falo, falo. Stekis, kalo de isamo. Samo, knocking on the door. Prenos, prenos. We are... <laughs> Yeah, from Newland Seas. From Newland Seas, by the way. Yeah, so I'm from Newland Seas. Newland Seas is a cool place. I love Newland Seas. In Newland Seas, we got a mall. But you guys know where they shop, right? And we had a little bit of an accident at our mall. The roof caved in, you know? The roof caved in in Newland Seas at the mall. There's just bricks laying around. Colored people went in the mix, started taking the bricks. <laughs> because we need bricks. Bricks come in handy for colored people. If your one leg breaks, you're not gonna buy a whole bed. Put a brick 
Yeah, what up, what about all bad for? You put a prick. When your uncle comes to visit you, how long he spends out? 20 minutes. Why are you taking so long? What kind of a colour are you? There's no prick, the car's gonna roll, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, you know what we do? We use them as door stoppers. You know, you put them by the door. But you'll never know because you put an outfit. You put outfits. <laughs> dress the prick up. My mother dress up everything. Dress the prick, the toilet seat, the serviette, holding everything dressed up in a posy. Dressed up toilets. Our houses were so cluttered, there was a doily for every surface. Three DVDs, what you name it. And the lounges were so small. In the lounge, you got a coffee table, you got a dining room six. Now the boys is small, you know those two seats are not usable because they pinned against the wall. Christmas time, who must go in there? Me, I must go in there now. Now I'm eating Christmas lunch like this. You check, you mustn't eat too much, you can't come back out. And in a triple unit, why we got triple units in a small lounge? With ugly dogs, ceramic dogs. The ugliest ornaments in the whole world we put in our lounge. Ugly, 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 ugly ornaments. The ugliest things you've ever seen. The ladies will fight at the corner for those things. I want the big bars, I'm taking the big bars. You must give your clothes. You must go give your clothes. Best clothes get best bars. What you giving me? I'll give you my son's cool clothes. For the big bars. How oh, my parents are going to fail anyway? Just bring that boss. And the killer in the lounge is that glass cabinet in the corner. What is that thing there? That glass cabinet with things in it we can't use, we can't touch. There's a teaspoon from Australia, a cup from New Zealand. There's things in there you can never use. That's collecting dust. There's nothing you can do with that stuff. That glass cabinet just there. When you have a 21st party, they give you a key. This key is to open doors in your life, my son, is to make you go far, is the keys to the city. That key is going to sit in that cabinet. That's where that key is going. That key is opening no doors. That key is destined for that cabinet. I grew up in a time in Newlands when there was gangsterism. Do you remember that? Most people don't realize the colored communities, there was a time when we lived there was constant gangsterism, like people were getting stabbed all the time. Well, this is my piece of advice based on a true experience. If you are a gangster and you're getting stabbed and you need to fall in someone's yard, don't fall in saved people's yard, you are going to die. <laughs> don't fall in a born again person's yard, you're gonna die. I'm telling you a true story, this all got stabbed. Hey, they stumbling, stumbling, stumbling in our yard. My mother's so safe, bro. That old family actually wears curtains for this, so. I was laying on the floor. Not an average person would phone the ambulance. My mother went up to him. Come, boy. Repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus. Come, boy. Come, boy. Come, boy, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, come boy, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Boy, you must confess with your mouth, you must confess. Very important that you confess. True story, the old died. His friends came there, they came looking. Did you who killed him? Other oh, people just tuned in, hey, said, that mom's there. She was the last person we saw. They come up to her, they say, moms, we wanna know who killed our friend? Why don't you, mm, boy? Vengeance is not yours. <laughs> vengeance is the Lord's. The question is, do you know Jesus? Come, boy, repeat after me. Repeat after me. <laughs> that was I grew up in. We couldn't listen to worldly music, secular music. We couldn't. There was a no-no. But my sister liked Whitney Houston. And the only Whitney Houston had a famous song. And I will, uh, you know that number there, right? So she, every time my mother wasn't around, she'd sing that Whitney Houston song. And I will always love you. And then the one day as she's singing, my mother walked in. And I will always love you. Jesus, and I will always love you, Jesus. So basically the only time we listened to world music was in the taxi. Because Durban is the only place in South Africa where we place so much emphasis on taxis. 
sound and stickers and Indian people take it to another level. <laughs> Nate Dogg and Snoop Dogg and Tupac and Avinesh. <laughs> Putting his own picture. All parking with a python around his neck. So we jump in a taxi and we go to town. Hey, you know, this is your chance to catch up with what's going on because you're so in the dark because you're saved. You don't know what's going on in the world, but it's cool. Then we get to town. My mother would take us now. I don't know how many people still do it. Back in the day, it was a thing. You go to town Saturday and you bargain hunt. Bargain hunt is code for, let's walk down West Street, Smith Street, Gray Street, Victoria, and stop at Ilanga where the bargains really are. <laughs> we were basically going to Ilanga. That's where we were going. Maybe Pepe Ilanga. Then you go there, your mother take you to the workshop, you have our ice cream as a bribe for carrying heavy parcels. You go back to the taxi, right? At least you can listen to your music. But here's the one problem. My mother was that mother in a taxi. If they're playing music she don't like, she says something. Excuse me, Kondai. Excuse me, driver. Driver. Then you must know, I know, that's royal eyeballs. <laughs> and I still feel bad because there's other safe people in the Kumbi and they're leaving my mother to do the dirty work. And I know they say, because when she stepped in, they said, hello, praise the Lord, Sister Ertha. <laughs> They're secretly happy. Hey, at least we don't have to say something Sister Ertha is here. <laughs> and then, you know, in the taxi, they play songs. But over time, my mother got tolerant. Like, she, she didn't, like, respond to everything. Like, there was that song, let's talk about sex, baby. Okay, this is a guaranteed eyeball. She listened, listened. She listened. She said, you know what? This song is educational. Because she's a teacher, this song is educational. We don't, as a community, we don't talk about sex enough. This is actually not a bad one. This one, yeah, we need to talk about a bit more. But there was that one song. There's that one song. You know this song, yeah? You in the taxi, you got your fingers crossed. Please don't play that song. Please don't play that song. Please don't play that song. Please. And as it starts, Grinching, I've been watching you. Standing across the room, I saw you smile. You just wanna die, you just put your head down. And as the song goes on, I just look at her. She got that look in her face, like she doesn't identify, but she knows something's wrong with the song, yeah. Like her spirits are woken and it's just... <laughs> Said I wanna talk to you for a little while. Now she's shh, 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 she's trying to hear. But before I make my move, my emotions start running wild. Now she caught it, she's on it now. But as she's about to say something, her tongue gets tied. And that's no lie now, I'm looking in her eyes. I'm looking in her big brown eyes because I know what she's gonna do. As the song comes, girl, I want driver, 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 excuse me, driver. Driver, please, this is, no, no, you can't play that music. Kondai, 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 please, Kondai, sort this out. You'll be not listening to this music, yeah? Excuse me, Kondai, Kondai, I'm sorry, mom, I can't hear you. The music's loud, I can't hear like, Sorry, man, I can't hear yeah. oh, well, That wasn't the end for us. I say, oh, they want to play the music. Coven, Keenan, we will sing the songs of Zion. <laughs> right. It was a clear day when I was born again. It was in the background. It was a clear day. It was a clear day. Hey! People say you grew up well saved, but you have no idea. <laughs> but now the section I grew up in Newlands, uh, there's a basic setup that they gave to colored people across the country, the government, previous government. Houses and flats, that's how they set us up. Some lived in flats, if you were a teacher or police or whatever, you lived in a house. But let me tell you something, that caused conflict. Because I live in a house, I go play in a park, lighty squatty, why lady you live in a house? <laughs> you start thinking that hey, living in a house is a bad thing. <laughs> but you know when you play in a park, you all play together, you play soccer. It's always the children who stay in the house, they get called home first. You play soccer, play soccer. You get called, Carvin, you called. Are you bang posy now? Lighty is teasing you. Ah, Lighty, you must vibe pause you. We still playing soccer, Lighty. <laughs> you must vibe part. <laughs> <laughs> it's holidays, we don't have to part. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm parting my ball. <laughs> 
But you know, on occasion, you'll see a set of brothers and they'll have to now go home early because their mother called them. Listen to them argue. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Mommy said that there were, you must boil the water. <laughs> I'm not parting, you must boil the water. Amy, I'm checking now, what kind? Why are these O's boiling water before they part? Are they making tea before they part? I didn't know we all didn't have geezers. I didn't know that. But you know when you live in a setup like that, there's always that one guy, he lives in a flat, this always insists on having a dog in the flat. A pit bull or a staffy, he wants to keep it in the flat. You can't keep dogs like it in the flat. Now I feel bad, we had dogs growing up and I'd have my dog bowl there. You know when you put stuff in the dog bowl, you put chunks on, you feel bad, no gravy, nothing. Even the dog's sad like it's eating. I went to the flat, I'm looking at the bowl, I'm checking, mm, 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 mm. there's biryani, there's bread crust, there's the scraping of the porridge, I'm not a burnt bottom on top facing up, there's a sucker. So this dog's gonna get sugar, this is a... Even the dog is looking at the bowl as if to say, What you think I am, a dog? <laughs> but you know when you start like it, there's always that one light, you feel sorry for the light. The light, his mother mails him one way. He must go now, and he must go get whatever she sends him for. Actually, light is running on the bank. <sighs> Come to your window. Hello, Auntie Atta. My mother said that there were. I must ask you, do you have two tomatoes? <laughs> and a potato for her? And she said that there were, I must just check because the last time I asked for onions and you sent there wasn't, but I saw a pocket when I was leaving. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm just gonna check. Okay, there's only four, I'll only take one. And she said that there, if you still want the 20 rand from last year, she, she's gonna give you. And if she said, you say you don't know what she's talking about, then she's only joking. <laughs> so I decided, right, I'm gonna move to the bluff. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I thought, hey, I'm going away now. I'm not a community member. I'm gonna go to the bluff. It's gonna be easier. You know, neighbors don't ask you for stuff. Eh, eh. The bluff is not what we think it is. For colored people going to the bluff is like, yo, are you doing well, Alex? Bluff, yo, 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 eh? Refinery views and what, what, yeah? <laughs> your own yard, yo, you must buy a rake, hey. <laughs> Those leaves don't pick themselves up, you must buy a rake, eh? Yeah. For white people, going to the bluff is a prayer request. <laughs> can we just, can we just pray for, can we just pray for Joan? Can we pray for Joan? Please, let's just get together. We need to pray for Joan. Yo, the, I don't want a scandal or anything, but it's a serious moment. They've had to move back to the bluff. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's gone that bad, eh? They've had to go back to the bluff. I'll, I'll tell you what, it's the husband. You can take a man out of the bluff, but you can't take the bluff out of him. It's a serious thing. No, I got to the bluff, I thought, hey, it's cool. Then my neighbor comes to visit, yeah, how's it, bro? <laughs> how's it, eh? Hey, let go, pussy got you, eh? Sheesh, eh? Nice, eh? You guys are doing well now, running the country and all that. <laughs> Jeez, eh? Anyway, bro, I just wanted to know, can you, can you help me with something, please, man? Uh, yeah, um, we're having a bra. And, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Demand. <laughs> just a little bit of, uh, yeah, yeah, hmm? So what are you asking for? Yeah, Yo, just for bra. So you're asking for meat. <laughs> Bro, whatever you have, eh, just. <laughs> I, I don't want to waste the coal. The coal's already burned. I don't want to waste the coal. I'm like, okay. So I gave him tripe. <laughs> have you seen bright tripe? It's like an afro. You're not sure whether to comb it or eat it. But my wife, 
She loves the pluff. She likes it. She likes it very much. She loves it. I married five years this year, which I think is pretty impressive. Because my wife is from Wentzwood. And I'm still alive. Now let me tell you something, right? Wentzwood. And I say this, Wentzwood. I've been to Europe, to Asia, to the Americas. I've never seen as beautiful girls as in Wentworth. I'm telling you, I married one, I'm telling you, I've never seen as beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. But on the flip side, hey, 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 hey. I, I, let me tell you something. God never made them like that. They made themselves like that. Bro, I've never seen such girls ever. I can't even say, hey, the cherries are bad. The bad so you like, see, are you fighting us like that? <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, ninja turtles. That's why you buy wings with, check the train, let's move They're looking for Shredder. <laughs> but somebody was telling me what's going on in Wentzwood. I go through Wentzwood every now and then. Why are people drawing on their walls again? I check big five, dolphins, flamingos. Are we Bushmen again now? Are we drawing on walls again? And let me tell you something, the Bushmen drew things he saw. Where you check big five? Where you check that? Never left wins, where you check big five? You must draw things you saw, refinery, okapi, what, what? And you can see whoever draws these things hasn't really seen them, because you must see the quality of the drawings. How many, how many horns a rhino got? Yeah? This is a 3 one rhino. It's an like X-Men rhino this year. Mutant rhinos. And then they got lions. The lion's mane is straight. Like it's been straight and too much relaxer. The mane is standing straight. There's gaps in between. And the lion's so skinny. A skinny. A skinny lion. I check this poor lion. at CD4 count must be low. This lion, lion, gee, what kind of lion? last year, Even the buffalo saying he won't make Christmas, he won't make Christmas. As I said, I'm married five years. My wife's from Wentworth. Now let me say, my wife always teases me because I come from Newlands East. You know when you get married, you get married, and your partner comes into the marriage with things that they do differently in their house and you do things differently in your house. You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, like, especially guys that married Indian girls, colored guys will know this. The fro tunes, power and time like Mendel. Hey, three weeks, you're trying to figure, what is she saying? What is she asking? Power and time like Mendel, you chicken, what kind of? You chicken bringing Mendel, oh, that's what she meant. Cool drink in a glass, not a time So my wife always teases me. She says, why do people from Newlands say children? <laughs> why can't you say the word properly, children? They always say, hey, the children are naughty. The children, you look after the children. I say, no, fair, fair and well, fair and well, fair and well. No, that's fine, that's fine. Tease about children, that's fine. I want to ask you a question. What in the world is post toasties? What is this post toasties? What is this thing called post toasties? I've never seen this thing called post toasties. What is post toasties? What is post toasties? I wake up in the morning. Do you want some post toasties? What is this post toasties? What are you talking about post toasties? I did shopping. I never bought anything called post toasties. What are you offering me post toasties for? Take me to the kitchen. I said, this thing's called Kellogg's Cornflakes. It's written on the box, Kellogg's Cornflakes. Why are we calling it post toasties? The whole world is calling it Killer's Complex. We in the special class, don't do this. <laughs> my son, my son is two years, old, two years old. He comes to me, he says to me, Dad, can you give me a post toast? I said, hey, you see Latoya? You see what you doing to our children? But my son, right, he's cool and everything. I got no problem with fair colors, but this lighty, he, he walk around like with a superiority complex. Cause he's a little bit fairer than me. And I blame people, I blame you. Cause when they see us, oh, Coven, he's just a fairer version of you. 
he's getting ideas all, so I'm fair. <laughs> the other day he comes to me, he says, uh, I'm milk and you chocolate. I said, what? I'll get what? You barely caramel, what? I'll, hey, lighty, what? I'm milking you, I'll give you a tight slab, you want chocolate. This lighty, I don't know what kind of dim. He's in my house, he's carrying on like he's the O. I must now listen to him, two years old. Don't use my cup. Don't sit in my chair. Go in the kitchen. I said, hey, I'm not the maid. Don't tell me to drink from a special cup and eat from a special bowl in the kitchen now. I'm worried. Apartheid is finished, my boy. Junior, you see, when I be like that, I'll show you. I pay the school fees. You're going to Port Natal African School. Because me, I'm in two minds. I'm not sure exactly what to do about schooling, you know? I want to send him, I don't want, I want to send him to like a good school, but I'm scared of sending him to like a, a college school. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want him to go to Model C and he walks in my house one day, oh, dead. What's going on, eh? <laughs> oh, Dad, what you watching? Oh, come on, Brew. The shock's on. <laughs> I said, Lighty, this is our Arsenal house. We're watching Arsenal. Oh, come on, Dad, please. Come on, Dad. Jeez, eh? You're losing who you are. You don't know who you are. The shock's are local, Brew. Oh, my dad, eh? He's just lost who he is, eh? Sheesh, eh? Yes. Know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know when you go to like a Model C school, the children are so respectful, you walk through, like, good day sir, yes sir, good day sir. You walk past, come back, good day sir, yes sir, good day sir. You can even take them, ah, good day, ah, caught you, caught you, never greet. College schools, the lighties are slaying the teachers. <laughs> teachers say, what you looking at, boy? You don't greet. Isn't you uh, in assembly? What? As in you were in assembly. <laughs> what you mean? Didn't we say good morning, sir? Good morning, teachers. Why are you being special? <laughs> it's even the sports. How many of us know people that were good at sports at school, soccer, soccer players, runners, whatever. Our school system didn't allow for them to go forward. How many, how many talented people we lost in our community because of our school system? You go to the Model C school, and you check them, they all kitted out, and they take it so seriously, and they sing, Hey, Almighty, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you check, yo, I want to go back to school. I want to go to this school. It's so exciting. They sing whatever they sing. I don't know what they sing. I never went to Model C school. But anyway, it sounds so amazing. You come to college school. Hey, come on, we're gonna say it now. Come on, y'all. Hey, don't be like that. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Hey, you're causing eyeballs. Hey, eyeballs. What's up? Hey, you got your pom poms. You got your pom poms. You ready? Pass your name. not a moving with fans now. This is before the Alice Benz hold it down. This is... you, come on, y'all. Come on now. You, you ready? You ready? You ready? All right. Keep going, you ready? Hey, hey, all right, just go. Give me that D, D. You got your D, you got your D. Give me your R, R. You got your R, you got your R. Give me your A, A. You got your A, you got your A. Give me your K, K. You got your K, you got your K. What does that spell? Drake. <laughs> Why are you spelling Drake? And second of all, you spell Drak. So I'm not sure, because somehow, somehow we need to make a decision about our schools, how we're going to take them back. You know what I'm saying? Because our children go to school. I want to send my child to a school that I went to. I had good I came, I was fine. But we can't do that because our schools are so messed up. And poor lighties, you know what I'm saying? They've got no vision beyond, because they grow up in a small situation and they can't see beyond the situation now. So we need to kind of get together. Because I'm telling you, it's not like a lighties are living in the pose of granny and everything. 18 years old, is in the same room with his granny. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do next year when they have to bring the census around and come to colored areas with the census forms. We're living 15, 16, oh, oh. Also, the come here and shooting a good day from Census SA, and we wanna know how many uh, people are living in this flat. That is exactly what I'm asking. <laughs> I wanna know too, who's living here? 
who is living here because when it's time to pay the rent no one's everyone's visiting everyone's just visiting we're just here for two days bro you ask yeah hey, we uh, lucky you came here you can sort this thing out i've been trying to sort this thing out for three years i can't sort this thing out who was living here they must make up their minds if i must go i go to sleep there's four lights i wake up there's five if we must go through counting here there's hey bro there's granny there's born there there's johnny hey, johnny and his wife not his wife his wife not his wife his wife ah, Junior, hey when it comes to rent she must be your wife that's all i'm saying <laughs> then in the lounge here it's a it's a a, 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 a thing a, a, a lance and me but now i don't want you to count lance Lance is sleeping here, yeah. Lance is in Wentworth, Lance is in Joburg, Lance is in Cape Town. You're gonna end up with extra O's counting Lance, yeah, counting Lance, there, yeah, counting. This is all over the show. You don't have to move around like they're gonna have to go to the shack areas and do the counts. You're gonna come to the shacks. Hello, uh, we're from Census SA, and we want to know. Um, how many people are living uh, in this room? <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? Let me make it simpler. How many people are sleeping in this room? The guy comes to the door. Hmm, no one is sleeping here. Can't you see we are talking? How can we be sleeping if we are talking? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you even want? We want to know how many people are, how many people are here? Staying here. Oh, I don't know, Baba. I'm just visiting myself. <laughs> then you know, they go to white areas like the company. Good day, we're looking for, I um, don't know how many people are staying here. Hey, um, excuse me? We've already sent all the documents on email. <laughs> and in any case, we're leaving. We're leaving next year, so what's the point of counting us? I mean, you're going to count us for one year and we're going to be gone for the next five. And this thing goes for six years. It's just, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, just leave it out, eh? And if you're gonna count us, then you must count Mishka, because she's a part of this family. Who's Mishka, ma'am? Our burable. You better count her. She's very important to us. But obviously, the killers when they go to Indian areas, because you know, you go to Indian area in the day, who's at home? Like Phoenix chats with Amma at home, right? You go knock the door and all, right? You knock the door. Hello, ma'am. Uh, we're, we're from Census SA. We, we came to count. What you, what for government? Are you, 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 what, you, what, uh, what you counting? What type job that you counting? Five year old can count, what you tell him you counting? Your mother must be very disappointed in you. She works so hard, hard Matthews, she works so hard Matthews for you. And you got a job counting. Where your car? No even car, this fella walking here, hey. What you count, what you even counting, boss? No, I remember we're counting um, how many people are staying. How many people are staying? You want to count how many people are staying? Yeah. I'll tell you, right? Me, my big son, and my baby. I love that child. <laughs> and uh, well, the witch. What a witch that lady is. First class rubbish that. I'll tell you that one thing I'll tell you. Can you believe she want to come between me and my son? Huh? What that thing? How old do you think I am? How old lady like me? How old am I? How old are you? Eh? How old do you think I am? Look, eh? you'll never say 74. You'll never say. Eh? You'll never say. She want to come between me and my eye. You know this? She's such a witch. I don't mean, but I'm not a bad person. I don't like to make funny even all for her. My son told me, but my Brianna is better than her. I never tell her, but... I never, I'm not like that. I'm not dirty like her. I'm not dirty like her. I never tell her that her Brianna is not uh, nice. She mixing the wrong curry powder. I just leave her. Oh, you're mixing the wrong curry powder. Let's see what happened, yeah. <laughs> but now tell me something. If you would, uh, well, the baby, uh, but if, 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 if there's a... Uh, if a lot, lot of people, yeah. Uh, Staying, what the, what the government giving? <laughs> giving something? No, not, okay. But uh, what you giving? What the documents? I must write documents. Oh, I can't write, my friend. I may call my other son. Prakash, someone from government here, yeah, please come help. And you better get a better job. <laughs> Prakash, come. Uh, you wanna know who's staying? It's me, Prakash, my, my, 
mother of my brother-in-law, brother and sister, and uh, Lighty, one Lighty, uh, one Lighty's name, uh, what Lighty's name? Uh, Avinash, 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 the Lighty, right, yeah, the Lighty, right, boss. Lenny, who are you buying now? Check, yeah? I got a Hugo boss, boss. I'm selling a Hugo boss. Don't be like, I got a Hugo boss, Lani. Don't, don't be like that. Don't, don't, wait, wait, don't run away, boss. I got a Hugo boss here. Check it, Lani. Check the price on this thing here. Check it. No, 799. Look at the face coming from Edgar's boss. I'll give you the. No, I didn't hear. I gave you the wrong numbers. You don't know. I gave you the wrong numbers. More of us staying here. Yeah? Ha <laughs> ha. Who got that last laugh now? <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something about Indian people. People always tease Indian people and say, oh, the way they talk, they talk so fast. I think Indian people are speaking correct English. The rest of us can learn from them. Yeah, I'm a comedian. Give me time, give me time. Give me time, don't chair so quickly. We take a long way to tell a story. They know, they've worked out. You don't need is, but, or, the, word. Those letters are unnecessary to convey a message. Let me give you an example. If a colored person is hiking somewhere, they don't want to hike. Hey! 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 Yo, oh, don't even know her, oh. Hey! Hey, 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 what kind of exa? Hey, my man. Hey, I'm checking out. A bus is not coming. How long I'm waiting here? Plus, with these taxis charging, town fares right up the road. Yeah, yeah. Please, my man. I just need to buy to the shop on a dollar. Just one, two things, kimbies and post toasties and what, what. Hey, please, yeah. yeah. Check your How's a lift, man? Yeah. yeah. Just here to the top. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, short six. Yeah. Hey, long. So hurry up. You're talking so long. Jump in the car. Let's go. For an Indian person, that's a very simple transaction. As that car comes past. No need for is, but, or, were, of, the. But you know when it becomes a problem? is when you're working in a company, especially here in Durban, you work in a company here. For some reason, the guy that works in IT, they always got Indian guys that work in IT who must tell you things over the phone. And you must pay attention. And they're always tuning at lightning pace. All right, chicken, Lani, what you do, right? You, you, you click on the thing, right? You can pop on the side, right? You go up to the side, make sure you click on the icon, right? You can go stop bending, stop bending, click on the icon. You see progress, 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 you go to accessory, accessory, thing, come out. Lani, click, 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 I'll show you. Check me there, me. There, me there. Watch here, watch here. Check that. Rims, lighty. Rims on the car. So you check that before. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've been doing comedy for five years. I'm about to go. And um, I actually gave up comedy three times in the last five years, which is pretty crazy. But then I was invited to do a show actually at this venue in 2008 and I thought to myself, you know what, maybe I should give this thing one last try. Let's see what happens because you get discouraged. And I was looking for, the, for a joke like to finish the show, which I'm going to just tell you now. And I was thinking to myself, what can I tell? And I was at work and a publicist sent an email. I thought, ah, this is the joke. The email said, this is a true story. I got this email. Eminem confirmed for Nelson Mandela's birthday. And I thought to myself, why would you want Eminem at Mandela's birthday? They have absolutely nothing in common. Why would you invite Eminem to perform at his birthday? They always invite people that Eminem got not, that Mandela got nothing to do with. They invite him to, his, to the party. What would Madiba possibly, possibly have to say to Eminem? Huh? Slim shot. I've got all your cities. I've got the one where you talk about your ex-wife. 
Wanting money, I've got the same problem. <laughs> we must do a song together. You, me, and Jersey. <laughs> but not your Jersey, my Jersey. It's like you guys, how you say, gangsta rapper, like to sing about guns. Mshinawa, mshinawa. <laughs> if you ever come to this country, Eminem, you must join my party, <laughs> the ANC. Like you, not many are slim, but many are shady. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Really, really enjoyed the show. It was really funny. There wasn't a dull moment. The show was fantabulous. Absolutely beautiful. Covered you very well. Uh, talented and God bless you. Top show. Good way to spend the Saturday night. Excellent. Stop, stop. Well done, uh, Coven. It was hilarious. Uh, your jokes really came out excellent. You know, dictating all of our funny things that happened to us, but true enough to make us laugh. Very, very fun. Funny show I've, I've seen this year. Oh, it was really, really good, very hilarious, and I enjoyed it very much. Calvin, you are just awesome. I love your funny. <laughs> if they say laughter is the best medicine, I've had a whole pharmacy tonight. Awesome. It was a new set. I've seen Calvin, I've seen him work, but it was 100% spectacular. Something I haven't seen from him before. It's new, and I'm looking forward to lots more from him again. As a fan of theatre and comedy and a performer myself, I have to tell you that this was my favourite one-man show of 2011. And whoever is watching this DVD, you have in your hand one of the masterpieces of 2011. We laughed from the start to the end. For one and a half hours, we did an excellent job. It's cool to see a fellow comedian do so well and push boundaries with this one-man show. It's so great to see this, the material was tight, the delivery was amazing. But it was a good show, all in all, uh, Corbin. You done your thing, my man. We're looking forward to more in the future. Everyone had a good laugh, and, and he took it to a point where we all could laugh at ourselves. But uh, not one point was anyone sort of insulting himself. It was it was just all around brilliant. I uh, loved it. I think the show was very nice. But he's picked on my colleagues. I brought a whole contingent of Indian people, and he's picked on every one of us. We are a good, lovely thing. But you, the boss, bros. I got don't take food out of my family. Yeah, I got all this. Don't take food out of my family, please. Please, I'm asking.